Hello everybody, so today I'm reviewing Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. Scouts vs Zombies. There's no way anyone could mess this up. So Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse is three scouts go out on a scout trip and then are hit by a bunch of zombies. Yeah, this is directed by Christopher Landon who directed Paranormal Activity, the marked ones, one of the films I hate the most. So this stars Ty Sheridan, who was in Joe, Mud, and also stars L Logan Miller, Joey Morgan, they are the three scouts, uh, Sarah DeMont, Halston Sage, David Koshner, um, and many other people. But we're not going to be, we're not going to be talking about people in it, we're just going to be talking about how this film messed up completely. So, the opening of the film... Let me just get the actor again. This is really good, I like it. It stars uh, Blake Anderson, uh, someone that I do like, who is best known for Workaholics. It is the opening where he's in this um, laboratory and things go down there, but the opening is very funny. And from the opening, I thought it was going to be this really fun, crazy, over-the-top, hilarious film. I thought it was going to be a throwback, because my girlfriend even said, from seeing the posters, that she thought it was going to be a throwback to 80s horrors, and that's what we hoped for. And with the name Zombie Guide to uh, zombie guide, scout's guide to the zombie apocalypse. We thought that it was going to have guide things that it was actually going to be. Then talking about how you can survive a zombie apocalypse, but with the zombie apocalypse, it's not really a zombie apocalypse because there's just some zombies in their town. It's not happening all over the world, so the the name doesn't make too much sense. And they should have just stuck with the original name, which was scouts vs zombies. So this is about the scouts having to look to use the skills that they have learned and to go up against the zombies. But the zombie thing takes quite a while for it to actually sort of come along in the film. Now we do get zombies from the beginning and throughout the film there is zombie things happening, but the scouts don't really go up in, against the zombies until about half an hour, 40 minutes into the film. So with them having to go up against zombies, here's the annoying thing, is that the zombies that are appearing in the city is, you see the zombies after them at one point, but it's not like you're seeing bunches and bunches of zombies, it's not till the final part of the film that is about a hundred zombies actually appearing, um, and most of the time it's just like 15 zombies are after them, and that's it. Um, Logan Miller, his character, is the is the guy that does the whole, um, yeah, Carter. His character Carter is the one that pulls all the, the dick and tits and ass jokes all the time. Uh, Ogie, who, um, by Joey Morgan, is the guy that um, is just very innocent and still wants to be in Scouts. And then Ty Sheridan Ben is the one that it just wants to sort of help, but also wants to get the girl, um, and that's, that's that. Um, but the thing that was in the trailer that looked really awesome is the final scene of the film. There's a part of the film where it gets to it, and you're like, why the hell was the rest of the film not like this? It's like a whole montage of um, them getting ready for things, and it's just all these weapons being built, and it's like, wh why was the rest of the film not like this? Like, the end of the film is really, really fun, and it's a really fun scene. And th there is funny moments, there is moments that make me laugh, but it's on, it's, they're very far from each other, the parts that make you laugh. It's, it's like a moment, it wants to be super bad with zombies, um, and there is moments where, yeah, I was laughing, but the audience in my cinema, there's parts where it's meant to be funny, but the cinema was quiet. And the thing that's annoying about this film is in the UK, every 15 rated film that I went and saw, decided to show before the film, hey guys, here's a long um, scene from Scout's Guide to Zombie Apocalypse. So they showed the cat one, and then they showed another one um, involving a penis. They showed that scene, which is a very, very funny scene. Um, but then my girlfriend was laughing at a lot. We were both laughing at a lot. Um, but yeah, there's only like, for, for a comedy, there's not that many laughs in here. And for a zombie film, they're not really zombies because they're very fast paced. And also it's like the writers didn't know how they wanted their zombies to be. They didn't know if they wanted their zombies to be running. They didn't want to know if they wanted their zombies to be slow. And they also didn't know if they wanted their zombies to, to know how to do things in the world. Like there's a stripper zombie who is doing her strip dancing. And there's also a police officer zombie who can shoot a gun. There's all those type of things. And then they try and make different types of zombies. There's one that crawls across the floor and has like his spines all out and he can smash into cars. So they don't really know how they wanted their zombies to be and they don't really have just one type of zombie. So they, it's very messy writing, they can't really decide on that. It's really messed up. It's a film I've really excited for, I've been excited for it ever since it was first announced when it was Scouts vs Zombies, and I knew that Ty Sheridan was in it because he is a, actor that, a young actor that I'm really, really liking at the moment. But he's the best thing about this film as well. He does the best he can. 
it's got fun moments, but it's just not as fun as it should have been. And this could have been like sort of next zombie lad, next best zombie comedy, but it's not. And that's a big shame, but it was from the director of Paranormal Activity, the marked ones. So what do we expect? So if you've seen Scout's Guide to Zombie Apocalypse, say down in the comments down below if you enjoyed it. Um, what is your favourite zombie comedy, minus Shaun of the Dead? Um, but yeah, that's all for today. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Um, and it is fast-paced, and there is some crazy things going on, and why the fuck would you start burping? What are you doing? Why would you do that? You why? Even hear it. Why? You won't even hear this mic picks. This is a Zoom mic. It picks up so much stuff. Play it back. Let's see. No. I guarantee you won't be able to hear it.